Hi, welcome to video series of Hadoop Multi-Node Hadoop Cluster Setup in Google Cloud Platform. In session 1, we have already seen the overview of Hadoop Cluster Setup in Google Cloud Platform. In this session 2, we are going to create 3 instances in Google Cloud. For that, we will create a Google Cloud account using our Gmail ID. Ok, let's open the Chrome browser and then go to the URL cloud.google.com. Ok, so in the top right corner, you can find out the link called sign in. By clicking this link, you can sign in, sign in using your Gmail ID. So enter your email ID. So and also the password, you can enter your password so that you can sign it to the Gmail account. Ok, once you signed in, you can find a button called try free. So in the top right, you can find the button called try free. By clicking this, it will take you to the Google Cloud account creation. Ok, at the right side, you can find a notification saying for a new, new Google Cloud account, you get $300 credit for 12 months. So based on the usage, the credit amount will be detected. When sign up for the free trial, you are asked to provide your credit or debit card information. This information is used only to verify your identity and you are not a robot. Your credit or debit card is not charged unless you are upgraded to a paid account. For more details, please refer Google Cloud free trial FAQ. So this is the URL where you can get the more information about this Google free tire, tire information. So here you can scroll up and you can see like lot of questions. So and also they have answered for it. Okay, now we are fine with the free tire, then we can go to this registration page and then here you can choose the country, which country you are belonging to. Uh, if you are uh, belonging to US, you can select the country. So US or if you belong to any country, so you can choose the country over here. Then you can click this uh, terms of service, I can agree for the terms and conditions. And also if you don't want to get any notification, you can click no and then you can click the agree and continue button. Okay, so this is a two step process. In the second step, we want to enter the customer information. Here if you see right the tax information, just you can select only business. So apart from that, you don't want to uh, select anything. It is uh, by default, it is uh, optional. Okay, so here you have to enter the name and address details of the customer. So this is the basic information you have to enter. So then you can scroll down and then you can have the payment method. In this payment method, you can enter the Visa or, credit or MasterCard information and then you can click the button start my free trial. Okay, once credit card in verification done, it will redirect to the cloud homepage. In the cloud homepage, there is a link go to console. Click the link or you can find out this icon on the label on top of this one. On top of this, there is a console. You can click here. Okay, it will take you to the dashboard. So this is the Google Cloud dashboard. So in the top, you can see how much credit remaining and the days left for trial. So based on this, based on the country, the currency value will be displayed. So I have chosen as India and the currency is in INR. So INR value of 25,000 rupees get credited. I have created this account two weeks back and also created instance so that amount got deducted for that. Okay, now you can click this navigation menu and then you can scroll down. Here you can find out the menu called compute engine. So you can hover, the, hover this compute engine, then you can find the sub menu called VM instances. So it will take you to the VM instance homepage. So here you can find out this, there is a button called create to create a new instance. Currently there is no instance has been available, totally it has been empty. We are going to create a new instance. So for that you can click the button create. Okay, so this is the instance creation page. Here you can give the name of the instance. So the it is a user defined name, whatever the name we want we can give it. But all the letters should be in a small case. Okay, so I can name it as name node iPhone 1. So this is the name I am defining. So then you can choose how many number of cores we want. You can choose the core as two core processor for this instance one as we said. So we are going to choose two core processor and then 7.5 GB of RAM. So once we selected that, you can go here and then you can select the operating system. So there is a button called change. By clicking this, 
you can see list of operating systems we are going to select CentOS 6 operating system and then this uh, SSD hard drive is going to be 50 GB so we are going to select this and then we can click the select button okay so scroll down and then you can see there is a firewall so under this there are two checkboxes one is hello HTTP traffic and then the other one is hello HTTPS traffic we can select both the checkboxes so this will allow this uh, incoming request the HTTP request the port 80 and then the port 443 is being allowed okay so below this you can see like various options like management security disk networking sole tenancy so these options are used to define the meta tags boot up script deletion production SSH key logins adding new disk setting static IP address etc. So for the sake of simp simplicity we are not going to use this option we are going to use the default settings we don't want to do any changes on this one. So just you can click the create button. So now the instance will get created. So this instance name is going to be name node 1 and then with the RAM like 7.5 GB of RAM with the 2 core processor with the operating system CentOS 6. Okay you can see the green arrow that says instance creation is done fine let's go and create another instance called in data node iphone 1 here you can find out a link called create instance go here and then you can click this link so here the same creation page will be listed so in this creation page you can define the name of the instance here i'm going to define that i'm going to give the name as data node iphone 1 so then i'm going to choose the I'm not going to change anything because I, I'm going to have only one core processor with 3.75 uh, GB of RAM. So I don't want to change anything. Here I want to change only the operating system. By default the operating system is going to be Debian. So I want to change into CentOS 6. So that I can click this one. I can select the CentOS 6 operating system. And then the hard disk drive is going to be 30 GB of size. So I can change to 30 GB and then I can sell, click the select button. Once I have done this, so also I have to select this allow HTTP and then allow HTTP access, then I can click the create button. Okay, now you can see two instances are created and it is running in the instance dashboard. Okay, we will go and create another instance called data node iPhone 2. So for that you can click this create instance button again. So it goes to the instance creation page. In this one you can define the name as data node iphone 2 okay so we don't want to change anything let it be a default uh, thing the one core processor with 3.75 gb of ram and then only thing we have to do is change the operating system the operating system is going to be centos 6 with 30 gb of ssd hard drive select this then scroll down you can select this allow http and allow https access then you can click the create button so this will create a another instance name with the name data node iphone 2 fine now all the three vm instances got created and it has been running okay so how to get into that instance now the instance are running how we can get into that instance so there are many third party tools available to log in into the instance using sss keys so without those things the simple way is to connect to the instance using the browser itself okay just click this link the ssh link there is a menu here you can see there is a open in browser window for the respective instance you can click this one open in browser window so the instance will get connected in the browser itself fine so based on your gmail id user get created and log in behalf of that user you are also able to switch as root user so that you can have full permission to download and install softwares. So by using this you can log in as a root user. Okay, You can execute all Linux command using this terminal. By close this window to terminate the connection to this instance. Just you can click this one this window get closed. Likewise, we can connect to all the instances, all the three instances and download and install the softwares. And now we have successfully created the instance. All the instances are running. Also, we are able to connect to the instances. So that's it for this session. In the next session, we will see how to connect instance to each other and form as a cluster. 
see you in session 3 thanks for watching this video